Stampers, this is Deb Valdo, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to do a product spotlight on our Fusion Blending Solution. This right here is used with our reinkers, our True Color Fusion reinkers, and um, it is very unique to Fun Stampers Journey. Um, the solution in our reinkers is a, a combination of pigment ink and classic ink, so it's the only thing that this Fusion Blender can work with. I use it along with um, our blending pens. These are our um, blending brushes right here, and they come in small, medium, and large. And you can you can own just one of them if you want. Um, I use them for different things. Um, very detailed for the small, um, medium is what I use the most, and then for my larger projects, I use the large brush right here. But you can buy them singly. They they're not sold in a set. They're sold singly, and they're they're for sale for five ninety five in the catalog. So what I do, you don't put water in these. You actually put this blender solution in here and um, this is going to help you these aren't alcohol markers but they blend as beautifully as alcohol markers do and I can't stress enough what a gorgeous look you get from this these are both done with um, the blending solution and um, my reinkers and I'm going to show you how to do both cards it's that fast so if you like if you, like me, like to color and cut, this is absolutely a fun way to do it. So I'm going to leave the card over here and I'm going to show you how to do this card first. I'll take my piece of cardstock and all the measurements will be on my blog, but I'm going to take the cardstock and I'm going to take my ink or my stamp. And you know that we have the grids on here. This happens to be one that I got early on. Actually, this is my very first stamp set that I bought and it has um, no indexing on it. Remember, as soon as they run through this inventory, um, they will start indexing these. But I love it because what I can do is I can line it up right here on my grid and I don't even need to know what the picture looks like because it's all lined up perfectly. I did put the um, image and the words together. It just saves me a lot of time. This comes from a stamp set called um, Birthday Sketch and I love this one. This one was the very first one I bought and you can get this in your kit. Um, if you become a journey coach this is one of the options for your kit. So I love this stamp set. I love the, um, the sketchy look to it. Just absolutely love it. So this is my um, this right here is my um, stamp and I'm going to ink it up with my black licorice. Now because all of our inks are um, pigment and dye, uh, classic together, um, it's, good that, um, it's good because you can actually color with all of them. Um, they're all permanent inks. So I'm just inking that up with the black licorice. I'm going to um, stamp it onto my, um, onto my uh, whipped cream cardstock and then I'm going to start to color. So I'm going to take one of my blocks, and um, I don't use it with the grid side because I don't want the grids to get dirty. If you have blocks that are unetched, you can also use those. And then what I do is I make this little color palette. So I'm going to start with my um, blues, and I'm going to go with um, three color blues. So I'm going to go with um, pool play. And then I'm going to go, so I'm just going to put a little tiny dot. You don't have to go a long way. And what I did before um, I was on camera is I shook these because, you remember, you have two kinds of ink in here. So you always want to make sure you shake them up before you use them. The next color I'm going to go with is um, Beach Ball. And that's a little bit darker than um, Pool Play. So I'm just going to put a little dot right there. I don't have very much to color, um, so I'm just going to put little dots of these. And then this one right here is my Huckleberry um, Fusion. And this is my favorite color out of any of the colors in the whole catalog. I'm a blue kind of person, so I really like my blues. The next color palette that I'm going to go with are my reds for the cherry. And I'm going to use um, Cranberry Bliss. And to me, this is the red that you would use on an apple or a cherry. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So there's my, um, my Cranberry Bliss, and then I'm going to go in with my, um, my Pomegranate Splash because I need a darker color. Now, I do, after they dry, go in a little bit, a little bit more with them. Um, and like I said, the, um, the uh, Fusion Blender is in each one of these. But I'm going to add just a little tiny bit to my palette right here um, because I'm going to be um, running uh, my brushes into it. So, that's all it is. If you like to color, this is the thing for you. I'm going to go in with my uh, medium blending pen, or my medium blending brush, and um, I'm going to start with my light blue. And I'm going to just color the bottom end of this. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take a little bit of my blending, my, my fusion blending um, solution, and I'm just going to kind of highlight here, there, 
and yonder. It's this easy. Just don't even think about it. Leave some white in there, but this is going to be my base coat. Now you have to understand that I am not an artist. I am not someone who knows how to color. Um, I just color the way I love to color and um, it just comes out the way I like it. Now I'm going to go in with the next darker color and just kind of blend this in. And um, what I like to do, because the um, the blending solution that's in here kind of goes down, seeps in slowly, so my color is here. So if I use this to just kind of, um, the darker color is on the end and it just gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just blending um, my color from the darkest to the lightest. So you'll see me a lot of times just lay this flat. Now I want you to practice. Um, it's just like anything else. The more you use it, the better you get at it. And you see when it's too dark, you just lay it down. The blending solution right here is going to help you to um, it's going to help you to move the color around. And now what I'm going to do is go back in with my darkest color. And what I always tell my, my um, classmates here is when you have these lines already sketched in for you, it's really neat because then you know where to put your darker color. Now you see how it's just laying there? I'm going to pick up some of this, um, this, blending, uh, this uh, fusion blender and I'm going to just color it in. Now watch, I'm going to take and I'm going to use the flat of my brush here and I'm just going to take and go a little bit darker in the places that need it to be and what I mean by that is I'm going to take and just go where all of these lines are that's going to be um, the, the parts that um, you want darker and um, uh, Fun Stamper's Journey is great about telling you what you need to be darker and what you need to be lighter so I'm going to let that dry a little bit you can take and just um, wipe this off onto your um, onto a piece of paper or, um, you know, on your pants if you want to. Uh, but I'm just going to bring up now and, and just do the, the uh, reds here for the cherry. So I'm just going to take and put a thin layer of the lighter color red on here. And I don't like to go all the way to the edges um, just because if you get the oil onto this, this ink right here, it's going to blend in um, with the black ink and I just don't want that to happen. So now I'm going to go in with my darker. See how I'm doing this? I'm just going right in with my darker where the lines are. They took all of the guesswork out of it for you. I want to pick up a little bit more. I'm going to squeeze a little bit more because I don't have enough of that stuff down there. The blending solution. I don't have enough on my brush. I just want to kind of brush this into it just like that. Okay, do you see how this is drying and how it's all blending together? These aren't alcohol markers, but they are just amazing when it comes to just blending everything together. Now this one is pretty much done because um, I'm not going to put any color there. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and I'm going to show you how to do this one, this card right here. These are this fast. So I've already pre-stamped the flower. And now what I need to do is to grab my um, inks for these. And I'm going to use a couple of different colors. So I'm just going to roll this around because I'm going to use a different palette for this one. I'm going to start off with my um, orange creamsicle. And this is one of my favorite oranges. And I don't like orange a real lot, but um, I do love this color. And if you've ever eaten a creamsicle, you know how delicious they are. The next color I'm going to go in with is the tangerine. And um, like I said, um, the colors are just um, a little bit darker. Each one is just a little bit darker. And then my last color is another one of my favorites, and this is pumpkin bread. It is absolutely a gorgeous color, and that's what I'm going to darken them up with. Now with my greens for the flower, you see the flower right here, I'm, or the, the leaves, I'm sorry, I'm going to start with sweet pear, because sweet pear is one of our lightest greens. It is our lightest green. And I'm just going to take and put a little bit of sweet pear there, and then I'm going to follow it up with some old, ol or some, um, excuse me, green olive. And um, we're just going to take and put that there. All right, now I'm going to use my, um, my medium-sized brush. And um, like I said, you can take and you can use the same brushes for each one of them. And, oh, you know what I need to do? I need to put a little strip of my um, Fusion Blender right down here. And that's to help me blend the colors in. All right, so I'm going to take my lightest color first, and I'm just going to very lightly dab here, there, and yonder, leaving some white. And this is how fast it is. That's why I wanted to do two pieces for you. Now, you see I'm grabbing the, the ink, and I'm grabbing the Fusion Blender. You don't want too much Fusion Blender, because remember, it will make the black 
bleed a little bit. It will make any color bleed a little bit because it is blending with the black also. So you just take a little bit. We're going to just roll it around, leaving a little bit of white showing. Like I said, I am not an artist, but I just love to color. And when you're done with this, it just makes it look like you are an artist. And if you don't think I am, just pretend I am because I think I am. Now what I'm doing is I'm going in with the second color right here, and I'm also adding a little bit of blender solution to it. And I'm just going up a little bit higher than these dark spots. And you know what I'm going to do with the dark spots. I'm going to go back in and, and add my pumpkin bread to that one. And I'm almost done with this color anyway. All right, just see what I'm doing? Just adding a little bit of color. All righty, now it's time to go back in with my last color, okay? And that is my pumpkin bread. So I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to very carefully just go where all the darker spots are. Now I can go back in and play with this a little bit if I find I need a little bit more color here or a little bit more color here. And you can actually take and move it around once it's on here. That's what's nice about this blending solution. You have every single color if you have the reinker. So our colors all match, okay? They coordinate nicely with our paper, which coordinates with our ribbons, which coordinate with just about everything, all right? So I'm done with that, and now I'm going to go into the greens. So the first green I'm going to do, remember, is the little pear, and I'm just going to lightly add that. Oh, I still have a little bit of pumpkin in there, but that's okay because it, it gives it a little bit of character. And then I'm going to go in with um, the darker green, which is the um, green olive. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to add my green olive. And when I'm done, whoops, that's a little bit dark, so I'm going to go in and grab some of this. And when you're done... It looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's going to dry, and it's going to dry with even more character to it. So that is um, this in a nutshell. So then all I would do is put the card together, and I'm going to put this one together for you just so that you can see it, because it's a little bit different than this one. This is the one I did the other day with the, um, the modeling paste. I just absolutely love it. But let me just go in and show you what I did. Um, this is the the card that I'm going to put together for this one. I need to finish this up so that you can see. Let me get out my palette right here. Okay, so what I did was, um, you know me, I never um, waste paper, so I cut this out with my um, Journey rectangles, and with this one, I used the third one in. So the first one is the largest one, the next one is the perforated one, and then this is the perfect size to cut out um, for your um, inside, and then you know me, I use this to, um, to, to do other things with, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my adhesive here, and I'm just going to put my adhesive onto the edges of this. Okay, here we are. And turn it upside down. And that is my frame. Now the next thing, oops, the next thing to do is to put my card on here. And just like your alcohol markers, they do bleed through, but that is the oil base on the, um, the card. All right, so we're going to just add this to my card, and we're almost done. But what I like to do is I like to do this part last, the, um, the glittering, um, because then you don't have to move your card while it's drying. All right, so now I'm going to come in with um, our beautiful Journey um, Craft Glue, and I love this. When you use this, if you if you buy nothing else, you need a tube of this, okay? If you buy nothing else from me, you need a tube of this. This takes care of so many other um, glues. It's just all one glue into one, and when you're done, you don't have glue all over the, the bottle. You don't have it all over your hands. Um, it's, it's the ease of this, and it's the ease of the tip of this. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take and... Just bring this in. And we're going to add our glitter. 
Okay, and that's all there is to it. So we're going to take that. Now, you can add either, we have two kinds of, of um, the clear glitter here. This is the Journey Sparkle Dust, and this is the Journey Sparkle Cuts. And you'll notice that the cuts are bigger than the, um, the sparkle. Today we're going to use the actual Sparkle Dust because um, we just want a nice, light... Um, sparkle to it. And like I said, you're going to save a lot of money because one glue goes good for everything. All right. So I'm just going to throw this on here like this, pop it off like that, and then let it dry. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, what I can also do is I can take and put some journey glaze on here and make the um, cherry on top look like it's a little bit um, raised. And I love that. I love that look. So there's that card. I hope hope you enjoyed my post. I hope you buy some of the Fusion Blender because this is amazing. So you'd need a Fusion and Blender, a Fusion Blender solution and then you're going to need your pens and you're going to fill your pens with that Blender solution because you do not need water. Um, it's just an amazing um, product and I want you to try it. If you have any questions, you know where to get a hold of me. Take care and have a great day.